Hi, I'm Erica, the PCOS personal trainer, and I'm here to share a little bit about my PCOS story with you um, because all the great people of PCOS Challenge invited me to participate in this awesome fundraiser for the nonprofit organization for PCOS, PCOS Challenge. If you have PCOS and you haven't checked them out yet, you need to get over there and get connected with the PCOS Challenge. They are your number one advocate for getting better care to women with PCOS. Um, I was diagnosed in 2005 after going to quite a few doctors and just having these really vague symptoms. I'm not getting my period. I'm gaining weight and I promise you I'm not overeating and I'm still exercising like I always have. I felt tired all the time and I started to feel helpless and this acne started coming up on my face and hair where I didn't want it. I also started feeling really ashamed because everywhere I went for answers, people didn't have them for me and they looked at me as if I was doing something to myself, that it was my fault. I was lucky enough to get diagnosed by my mom's gynecologist. My mother was just in her office for a regular visit talking about my struggles. And the doctor just looked up at her from her chart and said, your daughter has PCOS. Could you bring her in here? I, I know what's wrong with her. There, there is something wrong with her. And at first I felt just so relieved because I said, oh, at last someone believes me. There is something going on. It's not all in my head. But then you start to feel scared and you start to feel lost because up until this point, I was just a healthy 20 something year old woman, but her whole life ahead of her. And now I realized I was this girl with, with a condition and I wasn't as healthy as I'd always thought I'd been. And I knew that because of the way I felt, but just having a diagnosis on paper, it does change everything. And uh, after my diagnosis, I thought things would get better, but there really weren't very many answers out there for PCOS. I went to a couple endocrinologists, one at a really prestigious university, and the only thing he told me with disdain in his voice was if you would just eat a thousand calories a day, if you would just stop eating and start exercising, um, you could get better. Which was a ridiculous thing to say to me because I love to exercise and eat healthy. I was studying to be a personal trainer. It was a dream of mine. And I felt like that was out of reach because of this syndrome, that no one would ever believe in me in the fitness industry because I wasn't looking the part and I certainly feel healthy at the time. It wasn't long after that moment that, that when I was struggling with all this depression and insecurity that I decided that I was gonna be my own hero, that I was going to figure out this PCOS thing and get back on track and focus on my dreams because I, I wasn't a disease. I was a person, I was a woman with a plan. And it took me a while, a lot of consistent exercise and research and a lot of support from my family and from wonderful people I worked with in the fitness industry to get to a point where I not only lost the 40 pounds I gained while having PCOS, but I also felt awesome and got to a place where diets weren't something I was thinking about every day. My PCOS wasn't something I was thinking about every day because my lifestyle did manage my symptoms. And that led to my career in fitness and later to me specializing in training women with PCOS, which is absolutely my dream job. So I guess that is one positive that came out of my PCOS story is that I have this really meaningful career where I get to help other women and walk alongside them and help them make their PCOS journey a little bit less rocky than mine was. Um, and, and I would just say that if you're just now facing a diagnosis, or maybe this is the first time that you're really kind of starting to deal with it head on, there's hope. I mean, if this, you know, you can see it, if this baby bump is not proof, <laughs> um, we're expecting our first child in, in just four weeks. But there's totally hope for you. And a PCOS diagnosis is a tool. It is information about your body that you can use to form a lifestyle that will help you feel awesome, healthy, and thrive. So even if you feel right now that the world is punishing you, that PCOS is a curse, 
I'm here to tell you that it is valuable information that you can totally use to make your life just more full and more energetic. And you can give yourself the care that you need. So um, I would just encourage you again to connect with the PCOS challenge, to have hope, to look for supportive people in your life that are willing to listen to you, to not feel ashamed, and to just do a little bit every day to make your lifestyle a little bit more PCOS friendly. You do not have to do this all at once, and you are certainly not alone.